Okay, crew. Uh, Captain Shane, I'm going to be... Oh, wow. I get it. We're flying over 2500. Uh, we're going to be practicing a uh, auto land tonight in the MD-11. The weather is currently VMC, Visual Meteorological Conditions. But I like to practice these things where I can see where I'm going and intervene if necessary. I've done a lot of changes to the flight model on this aircraft. So I don't know if the tuning that Rotate has done where their auto land is going to work with what I've done. So I'm going to go ahead and let the uh, autopilot do a full landing on one step left here at, at Louisville. But I'm going to have my hands on the throttles and on the controls to be able to intervene in case it looks like it's going south. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes. We're turning on to the approach right now. Okay, localizer's captured. Let's go ahead and start... Um, Configuring here, so let's go flaps 28 and gear down. Boiler handle is armed. Auto brakes are set to minimum. Flaps and slats waiting on that. We're doing a flaps 50 approach. Go flaps 35. That's going to be 158 approach speed, flaps 35. Correction, flaps 50. Okay, glide slope is captured. Let's go flaps 50. Altimeter set for cross check 29086. EAD is green box. That's critical here. Landing clearance is obtained. All right, let's see what she does. All right, both hands are on the controls. Okay, hands on the throttles, hands on the uh, control wheel here, just in case. It's a little bit slow on the throttles here. Okay, speed's coming in. Light slope looks perfect. The localizer is just little bit off but it's close enough it's within limits okay there we go localizer glide slope dual land you gotta have this to have auto land capability when you see this dual land that means the aircraft is capable of auto landing all right let's see what she does it up don't mess it up a little fast a little fast a slight little crab in there due to the wind is at 200 so it's crabbing for me right now
Not bad. We'll take it all the way to the end here. Eh, I don't like the way it de-rotated the nose. But it definitely put it down. I mean, we'll check the landing rate here in just a second. Yeah, I kind of helped it there at the end with the derotation because they just tried to slam it in. That's part for the course for this aircraft though, right? Okay, and I stayed in the reverses a little too long. I was kind of distracted by everything going on here. All right, let's uh, start cleaning up then. Let's see what the landing rate was on that. Ah! Minus 262. That's not that bad. I mean, it's not great, but I've had worse than that. I would give this thing a pass, man. For sure. So, uh, it still needs work on that derotation, but I've been fighting that thing for, for months. So, I'll keep working on that. But, bottom line is, the auto land still works, and it puts us down in a safe condition. And I'm going to practice that some more so my procedures are better for the rollout. But either way, it got it done. That's pretty cool. Thanks, guys.